Yankees hot stove. I'm Meredith Morakovitz alongside Luke Voigt. Luke, first of all, how is the offseason going for you? Uh, everything's been great. Um, finally got moved down to Florida, so uh, super happy about that. Just, you know, chugging along in the house. You know, we've been down here for about, you know, two weeks now, but everything, you know, everything's been good. No, it was good to be home for a little bit, but, you know, it's nice to, to get down to Florida, get out of the bad weather and enjoy some sunshine. When do you typically start getting ready for the next season and how will that change considering what's still going on in the world with the pandemic? Um, you know, I started training right when I got back home. Uh, you know, obviously I was in a walking boot for a little bit with that uh, PRP shot I got in my foot, but my foot's been feeling great. So I got, you know, I started doing workouts literally a week after that, you know, and doing rehab. And um, yeah, the workouts are usually immediate. Um, and I don't usually pick up a baseball bat till around Christmas time and just give my body a break from all that and, you know, start getting back into doing defensive and hitting all those kinds of things. But working out, I'm back and ready to go. I feel great. Was there any concern that the PRP shot would not work? And what told you that you were good to go to start training again? Um, you know, just being back at home with my trainers and then being in contact with a bunch of people that have, uh, you know, doctors that have been, have done it or guys that have dealt with it. And I just needed to get out of cleats, I think. Um, I I don't think I'll, this should be an issue down the road. It feels great. The rehab's already progressed uh, really far. So I, uh, I'm excited where I'm at. Uh, I have no pain anymore. I haven't had pain for, you know, pretty much since that PRHP shot. Obviously, it's weird for a week because I was in the, in the Big Ben walking boot, but so, <laughs> and, um, everything feels great. So I'm, I'm glad I got it. And I think that was the best case. And you know, hopefully, hopefully it goes away. But, you know, I'll get back into running in cleats here, you know, probably in the next, you know, month or so just to see how it feels. So I'm, you know, not rushed going into spring training. Well, people right now are looking ahead to that 2021 season. Your name is one that's been mentioned as far as trade rumors are concerned. Do you pay attention to that at all, Luke? No, but everybody in my family, friends, and everybody else does too. And it's uh, it's it's part of it. And, you know, everyone's name is going to get thrown around. Everyone's a, a GM. You know, everyone wants to talk about baseball somehow and, you know, want to make the perfect trade. But um, you, you don't know what's going to happen. And obviously, I want to be a Yankee. And, you know, there's been a lot of other Yankee guys that have had their names thrown around. But you don't know. Um, you just find out <laughs> if it happens. But, you know, everyone tries to be their own GM right now. And, you know, figure out all these trades, but, you know, it all sort of self out here with the, you know, everything coming up here pretty soon. So uh, we'll see. You certainly made a name for yourself last year, really ever since becoming a Yankee, you've been consistent in the batter's box last season, led the league with 22 home runs. Has that sunk in for you at all? Major league home run leader? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of changes I made last off season and the, you know, come out on top like that and uh, have a great season. And, um, you know, it, it was a weird year and I tried to make best with it and that's all I could do. And, you know, obviously I want to, you know, get better and better every year. And, you know, guys are still going to keep trying to figure out how to get me out and I got to, you know, make adjustments, you know, every year. So um, it's a lot of fun. It's cool. You know, when people say you're the home run king or the home run chant, you know, but, you know, it's uh, 2020 is over with now with baseball wise. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, having a, you know, obviously a better year next year. Luke, there's a lot of talk about DJ LeMahieu right now. Will he be back? Won't he be back? Do you expect the machine to be back in pinstripes next season? I do. I think he is. I think he's a great fit with us. Um, I know he wants to be in New York. Um, obviously, I'm sure there's I mean, every team wants DJ on him. He's, you know, he's a stud. It's the reason he finished the top three in the MVP and stuff, uh, even though I thought he should have deserved to win it. But um, I, uh, you know, I think obviously, you know, he's going to have a bunch of big time offers. So, but I know he wants to win and I know he loves, and you know, all the guys in the clubhouse loves the coaching staff and, you know, he wants to play in New York. So I guess we'll see, but you know, my, you know, my gut says he's going to be a Yankee. Well, I'm sure Yankees fans will be happy to hear that. Luke, thank you for the time. Yeah. Thanks guys. And uh, let's go Yankees.